Same thing with thin mints. Thin mints. Yep. Yeah. They are very good that way. They're, and you can maybe just leave them outside. <laughs> just leave them on the back porch. Yeah. Just don't tell anybody because there's like two boxes back there. I, I, I think it's a trap. Yeah. Because every time I go from them, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I think that they're, they're untouched boxes of those. So. Well, I meant to leave them outside because it's cold. Yeah, that too. And yeah. uh, just watch for those neighbors. And we have some snow coming our way. Yeah, and that's going to sprinkle the area as we go into tonight and tomorrow. So we have these snow showers that are building in as the first system that came through earlier today moves out. So we did get some accumulations in Fayette County, uh, the ridges of Westmoreland up into Somerset, down into Preston and Garrett counties too. That system's moving out and it's this one that's moving in and it doesn't look like too much right now. This will provide snow showers as we continue uh, into the overnight and early morning hours tomorrow. So snow showers will swing through and this could leave us some quick coatings on its arrival. So this first system is moving out. The next one is pushing in here, and you can see those snow showers out ahead of the cold front. This is about 5 a.m., and they're going to continue to push down into the area. And come 9 a.m., still some snow showers around, and we're going to start to see those lake effect bands on the back side of this. A lot of that will be up to the north, and that's where we'll see the bigger accumulations closer to Erie. But when this comes through, it's going to take most of the snow with it by lunchtime, and then we'll see a clearing trend into the evening and overnight. And then as we go through the next uh, several days, we're going to actually see another warm up heading our way after a cold setup tomorrow into Thursday. That very warm air moves into play. But this snow that comes in, we're looking at a coating. If anything, here in Pittsburgh, up to the north, you could see an inch to two inches, especially north of I-80, and then in the ridges up to an inch accumulation. Now, in Pittsburgh, we're dry right now, and currently we have 34 degrees. Feels like 30, a little breezy, but those winds will pick up as that cold front comes into play, and it will be on the breezy to gusty side tomorrow. Temperatures low to mid-30s in pretty much every case, with the exception of Waynesburg, and then up into the ridges in the fringe areas of the viewing area. But as I said, with the winds and the cold tomorrow, it's going to feel like the teens when you put them both together. Tonight, 29. Snow showers late. Winds becoming 10 to 20 miles per hour and staying at about 15 to 25 tomorrow with early temperatures in the low to mid-30s. But those temperatures will start to fall off tomorrow afternoon once that snow comes to an end. And we'll see partly cloudy skies for Thursday. Early in the day, 17 degrees. A cold start there, but we bounce back. Pretty nice. 44 degrees for a high temperature there. Come Friday, we're talking temps in the 50s. We continue warming into Saturday, where we're looking at high temperatures in the lower 60s. That does come with rain. We will wrap up those showers on Sunday with highs there near 50 degrees. That's probably the best looking overall day of the week. You get the mostly cloudy skies on Monday with the temperature back in the lower 50s and then showers as those temperatures start to slip a little bit towards Tuesday of next week. And remember, with the KDK weather app, you can track in the snow, you can track in the rain, and you can see that warm air when it will arrive hour by hour. And it's all free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store. And